Hey everybody, um, this video is to show both professors, um, but primarily students, how, can, how students can record themselves giving a presentation and then they can upload that recording to my courses. I'm going to be using this in my class and I thought it might be helpful for everybody in the department. And so I'm going to take everybody through absolutely everything. This is going to be using completely free software, so it's kind of a hack. It's not as good as using professional software, but it's free so everyone can do it. So we're going to do this using Using Zoom. And so what, to get Zoom, if students don't have it, you just put download Zoom into Google. You'll get download Zoom, download is the first result, and then from within this you just download it for whatever, if you have Mac, if you have Windows, you can download it. Okay, I've already got it downloaded, so um, I don't need to download it. I'm going to hit cancel there because it's asking me to download. I'm just going to close out. I'm going to open Zoom up. Okay, so I've already installed Zoom on my computer. And, uh, and within this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to host a meeting. I'm going to go new meeting. Okay. And so now within this meeting, you can see my picture here and I'm going to get rid of this other, uh, screen that's doubling myself up because now I've got a picture of myself. So it's got this meeting that's starting. It's going to say join with computer audio. I want to say yes. Okay, so fantastic. So you're using computer audio. Perfect. So I've got this picture of myself. Now what I actually want to do is I want to go on here and I want to do share my screen. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and I'm just going to choose the desktop. That's how what you would do is you choose your desktop and you click share. So now you're technically sharing your screen and you've got a little picture up here of yourself. Now you're just going to drag this down to wherever you want it and you can resize it so that it's a little bit bigger so you can still see yourself. And that picture is going to stay there. So now you've got a nice picture of yourself and you've got a picture of the screen. Now, here, now once you're all set up, this is the next important step. At the top, you've got this little menu and on the right hand side you can click more and you can click record. So now it's actually recording. Now what I can do is I've already opened up Keynote, which is like PowerPoint. So if you have your PowerPoint, you just open up PowerPoint. And within this, I click play. And play on this Mac. And so here is my presentation, and it's got the window on the bottom corner, and this is all being recorded with audio. And I go through, hey, here's my presentation, yada, 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 David Suzuki. And when I'm done, I just close out, and then I click stop sharing. Okay, and then after I've clicked stop sharing, um, it's going to have down here, I have to click stop recording. So once I click stop recording, okay, so the recording file will be converted once the meeting ends. So this technically is still a meeting, even though no one's invited. And then I go end meeting, okay, and it's going to go end meeting for everybody. Yeah, okay, so it's going to do that. And you can see it says recur converting meeting recording. I brought my video back up here so you gotta so you can still see me here. Converting meeting recording. You just wait till that's done. And then you've got a video here, and that's the video file. And you can open this up. So now it's actually recording. Now what I can do is I've already opened up Keynote, which is like PowerPoint. If you skip so forward, you can see it's going to... The window on the bottom corner, and this is all being recorded with... See? I can close this out. And then this video file here, if you want, you could edit it and make it so that it cuts the beginning and end off, but who cares about that? This you can upload to my courses as a student, and that way you'd have your slides and your recording, and you can do this asynchronously. That way you can just upload this, and it can be evaluated by your professor and seen by your fellow classmates, um, but you don't have to all be online at the same time. Okay, so a uh, couple other uh, things to mention is that I recommend practicing your presentation a few times before you actually do the recording and then just do the recording. Do it once all the way through. Don't try to edit it or anything like that. Just do the recording. Uh, do the best you can within it. Don't worry if you stutter or pause or say um. It's just like doing a presentation in real life. Uh, so just do it straight through. Don't try to make it fancy with video editing afterwards. Just have that one simple file, that one simple recording, and then upload that. Uh, and that's it. Hopefully all of this makes sense for you.